Hey homie, welcome back to my channel. How is it wasn't happening? My name is Omi or DK and this is Talk to Your Homie TV. My darling here, yeah, I love to give very sweet and juicy gist. And today, I have juicy and messages for you because see, eh, rumor has been flying up and down about Messi AK trying to put Katakata in another person's marriage. I'm like, wait, chill. Erica is in the news as well. Erica is being dragged again, but she's not having it to. She gave this show like up and down and left. I'm like, what's up? But Tony, what Tony's gist is so high. I love it. V, Tolani Badge and Kid Wire. You see that mix? Let's just begin this gist. Let me begin with um, message gist really. There's been this gist on um, the footballer Aaron Samuel. A Nigerian footballer married to an Igbo lady, um, Chingwe. They've given birth to their second child and there's gist that they're about to break up. In fact, it's kind of confirmed that they're about to break up. And according to the lady, she said she's breaking up because it's alleged that the guy is cheating on her with a popular Nigerian celebrity. According to a reliable source, footballer Aaron Samuel and his wife Chingwe reportedly split four months after welcoming their second child. Chingwe, whose Instagram bio used to read wife, mother and chick, now reads only full chick. She also deleted all Aaron Samuel's pictures from her Instagram page. Aaron Samuel has made his Instagram account private and has reportedly moved out of their shared home and is currently squatting at his friend's place at Aja in Lagos. Aaron Samuel is a Nigerian professional footballer who plays as a striker for the Chinese Super League club called Chang Chung Yat and they actually got married in 2018 now how does Messi AK come into this mix now that's how G's lover G's lover now comes to drag Messi AK now see all this is alleged because Messi AK has come in fact as G's lover gave her own bars Messi AK is also clearing things up for us all year now according to G's lover the blog on Instagram they said that Messi AK might be the Nigerian celebrity that is like the strange woman in Aaron Samuel's marriage. I'm like, hey, this just love her. I don't even know again. Now she says, hello, Twitter. I bring to you that mysterious girl all blogs have been talking about. Footballer Aaron Samuel and wife split on the ground of infidelity. The wife, Chi Aaron, caught him cheating with Auntie Messi AK. I say, this just love her. Like, as in the way she gives her, oh, I don't know if it's a he, I think it's a he actually. The way this person gives gist, the person gives this like, the person is like the person is inside the, their body because he says it with so much confidence so much assurance that i know what i'm saying yeah so he now comes on to say the relationship between the footballer and auntie messi was supposed to be a one night stand palaver but auntie messi won't die there as they are not keeping the relationship on the low anymore them flaunt i'm so tell the wife got to know auntie messi is also doing one popular man in hollywood the man is believed to be by hmm, to be by and he will be celebrating his 60th birthday soon she was pimped to the man as well guess who the man is hint he's so loved and vibes so well now i don't know i mean i really don't normally i would not put my hand in this kind of talk because i do i don't like to go dirty but it's just love that kind of always comes with proof right now as that was now going on something now happened a blog now posted like a chat um, between G Slover and Messi AK. So apparently, according to the chat or on the chat, what we saw was G Slover talking to Messi AK since 2018. You get me? And asking Messi AK for money. And Messi had been ignoring G Slover. So according to Truth underscore Icon One, G Slover said, Congratulations, Messi. Hi, Messi. Messi is ignoring. This was 2019, December 8th. Now, in 2020, Gis Lover now wrote to Messi and says, Hi, Messi Lambo, congratulations on your win once again. We have been chatting you since 2018. Before you went to the show, please reply us. No reply still. April, the person now says, Messi, we need your support. Instagram has been frustrating us. We need money to buy verification. Please, can you support the blog with 200,000 naira? Messi says, LOL. This level now goes on to say, We have your WhatsApp number and your Dubai number. Kindly respond to us ASAP. Drops all the numbers, but they blocked it. Messi doesn't reply. In October, Gislova now says, so you blocked us on Twitter, Abby. Get ready for violence. Now, that's how the Gislova says her violence. Violence, 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 yeah. Now, Gislova now comes to now say that she's accusing Messi. This is just crazy. She's accusing Messi of, like, faking the whole story. Because according to Gislova, that never happened. This particular handle, Gislova underscore blog one, they just opened it recently. Me, I don't know. But it just got really crazy. I mean, a marriage is about to break 
or people start to you know drag Messi that ah she's breaking a hole Messi had to finally come and speak now according to Stella Demokokos is a blog guys all these bloggers all these bloggers are just coming to come i'm here to give you the t-shirt according to stella here yeah, she spoke to messi and messi has come to clear the air now allegedly because i'm not sure messi says i don't sleep with small boys reality tv star messi ak has debunked rumors that she is responsible for crashing footballer samuel aaron's marriage recall that it was alleged that messi was the famous lady footballer aaron samuel was cheating on his wife with however in a chat with blogger stella demo Focus. Messi regarded the report as preposterous. You get me? Whoever is behind this, Messi says, Now listen, whoever is behind this pack of lies will never know peace since this person does not want to let me rest. If she's guilty, may she never, as may she, Messi, never know peace or anything good come to her. But if she's innocent, whoever is behind this is doomed and will never know peace. What is her business with him? She knows him, but nothing romantic between them he's a boy hey a father of two children somebody's husband is a boy according to the message listen he's a boy to someone i know and i can never stoop that low please i don't do small boys i don't have anything to do with small boys i really didn't want to address this but since you called me i have no choice but to respond to your questions thanks for reaching out and i don't know I mean, I'm just like, man, don't call someone's husband a small boy, man. Like, you did AK. You had a show. You literally had a show. You get me? About you and AK. What's the key? I don't know. I mean, I don't know, man. But that's the gist going on around town. Messi has come to deny it. Just like, if I just like, I came and put a video up, but that video was blurry. She claimed that it was blurry because like the person who was making the video was making the video through a tinted glass so we cannot really see what like exactly is happening you get me but that's according to gist lover allegedly was the car of um Cicero, uh, samuel aaron coming out of Messi's house me i don't even know but i thought to come and put it out there that's all i've been hearing so far but let's move swiftly to a very good news what tony's news oh my god guys but only bought her parents, father and mother, two cars in the space of six months. Like big ups to Watoni. That's huge. That's the kind of thing that I want to do. Do you get me? Like buying her two parents two cars. Just go out to the comment section here and big up Watoni. It's just thoughtful. It's so thoughtful. It's so nice. That's why I say, yeah. I mean, even though I'm guilty, I'm not gonna lie, I'm guilty. When I come and say, oh, you know what, uh, people who I think are successful and who I think are not, based on Instagram, like, movement and based on deals that are signed however i've come to realize that a lot of all these celebrities that you see had like they get deals that you, you don't know about you understand even though some are signing deals with a big brand and the other big brand and that big brand there are also people who are doing deals on the side i mean what only bought her parents two cars you get me she has a boutique she sells dresses and shoes she has written a book she's a blogger she's just really done her, done well for herself me i'm happy for her just celebrate her in the comment section my darling let's now go to the next one guys kid wire tolani vaj and v now v has proven that she doesn't want to have anything to do with tolani vaj and you know rumor has been moving around that this during this almighty reunion, Tolani Badge and V had a had an encounter where I think it was Tolani, what I heard though, alleged, I'm not sure, you get me? I think it was Tolani that threw um pillow at like throw pillow at V and V did not respond. Like she was just like mm, big chick. I won't do that. I won't fight, you get me? But let's go back to Tolani Badge, V and Kid Wire. Now Kid Wire has been online, you know, just showing us his goofy side, you get me? And then he got verified on Twitter and he has been big up everybody celebrating oh my god you know he's very fed on twitter right now he's a big boy and thing so lani back down came and cracked a joke on kid wire saying this bruh i came with all the receipts guys like don't joke with me so lani badge says on top verification kid wire is on site when i see you wear your boxing gloves right kid wire now replies and says let me call my backup v v was like what don't involve me in whatever this 
is please like i think kid wire is just a big troublemaker obviously he knows that Tolani Baja and V are not cool he had to just bring V into the picture you know like, I know these people yeah they will act like oh it's a very innocent thing but they know what they are doing I really want to watch this reunion like bruh I want to see how crazy it seems like something very crazy like I've been hearing a lot of things Lucy and Kaisha Lucy broke Kaisha I've been hearing a lot of things like at this point in time let it show let's see exactly what happened and by the way remember oh, baby ninja audition is on i think till the 16th or 18th of may have you guys auditioned i don't care if you have auditioned like 10 times before if your mind is telling you to audition please audition you never know when you get picked really and truly you never really know right so if you want to audition please audition and if you're thinking you're going to get in let me know early just tell me oh me i'm your follower i'm your subscriber and i'm going to the show my name is d let me watch out for you you get me exactly now let's end this one with erica's gist now what happened again why are people dragging erica now what happened was someone goes on twitter to talk about how the person is displeased at erica's look after the house the person is like what is happening she looks way finer before the house and after the house and the person went on and on to talk about erica what did the person say listen until you people stop writing your chest and start telling her the truth these things will keep happening. Her pictures before Bibi Ninja are still my faves though. Because post Bibi Ninja, I don't understand. Post Bibi Ninja, she looks so unkept. Her nails are the worst. She literally works so hard, makes money and doesn't look the part. She needs to fix up, man. One must not be an Instagram slay queen to look good. Listen, you will say her page is not growing. How will her page grow with those rickety pictures? Now see, relax, yeah? I understand you want to pass a message. Can we just learn to pass messages without being insulting? Like, if you come and tell me something and you're sounding like that, I will never even listen to you. In fact, I will even give you my own bass boost too. I really understand the person is coming from. If I'm going to be very, very truthful. I didn't even know Erica before we've been in Nigeria. But while she was in the house, I loved her dressing. Like, I loved Erica's dressing, Erica's look. She used to look hot, like, brah. Like, she used to wear this flowy gown, big glasses. She used to look really, really hot. I've not been able to just stabilize with her looks outside the house. I'm not gonna lie, I've not. Like, outside the house, I'm just like, eh me if you ask me i'll just say can she just go back to whoever was supplying her dresses or whoever she was buying dresses from while well, like when she was going to the house or whoever gave her those dresses i think she needs to hit that person up but you don't have to come and say rickety her page is not growing her nails erica was like see i'm not even having that at all erica now comes to give this person bass bows bees bass everything erica says this listen she says you will know me as the best and most respected actor and not the best instagram model okay baby girl you're not even a fan you're complaining why don't you focus on pages you actually like i be them use rope tie you here acting three film productions while ill three commercials appearances photo shoots filming other stuff all in two months going to set after taking injection shots i thank god for the jobs a list actor is the goal you know what to do if you're looking for an instagram model fave by felicia even in the ugliest picture i'm still a fine girl okay i'm spending my time doing more important things well now so kindly f off okay so now you plan erica to say amen to that no one expects you to be an instagram model but what is what doing is what doing well i don't even know again man all i'll just say is no matter how you want to pass your message we need to learn to pass our messages with love like we need to learn it you see if you know if you want to know how people can be crazy you need to check my comment section it's really on instagram gosh gosh like at, at some point i'm, I'm like ah, like what's happening but I like that Erica is giving like the girl the energy that the girl is giving her. I get where the girl is coming from if I'm being truthful. But I mean, see, at the end of the day, we're all growing. Give her time and let her let her grow into what she wants to become. She's now a celebrity, she's now a face, and she's really acting a lot of movies. Like, really. Some other girl is trying. If you must pass a message, uh, don't be insulting. Learn to pass a message with love and all that. But that's all the gist that has been flying up and down my ears. What's your opinion? Do you agree with this person? Do you think 
Erica needs to really check herself and her looks and her pictures and her nails. But the funny one was the nails. Like, how? I've, I, I don't think I've ever... I, I really don't think I've ever, like, looked at any celebrity and looked at the nails. No, I'm not that... I'm not that... Angry. Like, that's... Nah. You're a fan. Obviously, you're a fan. For you to look at her nails, her hair, you're obviously a fan. You get me? But yeah, man, what's your opinion? Do you agree with this girl dragging Erica or do you think... They should give Erica a break. What do you think? Just tell me, honey, in the comment section, my darling. I told you that I'll start giving you more videos here. Yeah. Even me, I can't believe I'm filming a video now. This is like the next day, literally, yeah, but I am. Please do not forget to check my vlog channel, guys, because I had just dropped a new vlog on that channel and I had so much fun. You know, I was giving like VIP treatment. Abuja is doing me well, I'm not gonna lie. It's doing me well. See, let me report some of my subscribers and followers to you. It's amazing the comments I see when people say, you're pregnant, you're pregnant, you're pregnant. Like, even me, I'm like, I don't know, should I laugh? Or should I? Like, I'm just like, wait, wait, help me understand this. If I do any video, oh me, you're pregnant. Oh me, you're pregnant. Eh? I'm not gonna allow God to do what God won't do. Are you not assistant God? No, 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 tell me. Are you in heaven? Are you not on earth? Are you working with God? Did God tell you anything? Ah, sister, relax, yo. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I just dropped a new episode of me. Somebody actually sent me a message. Oh, me, ah, I want to read everything. Well, a new episode has dropped. And this episode of me, yeah. Ah! Dorothy enters her first begay. This begay messed Dorothy up. Like, if you read this episode, yeah, there's no way you will feel so bad for Dorothy. What she faced in this episode, brah, you almost cry. I'm telling you. If you guys don't know, me is a story I write about my star character, Dorothy. Dorothy is a girl who is trying to find her feet and people are trying to pull the girl down. She's new in boarding school and brah, the first week of her stay in boarding school, they're already messing her up. That's how from nowhere, oh, her mouth opens. She leaks a secret that she should, if she was wise, she would have kept that secret to herself. But no, Dorothy had to talk. See, eh? I'll put the link to that one down below. Go there, read the third chapter of me and you will love it, my darling. But that's all for today's video. I really do love you. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.